Guys, I'm so excited. I... Okay, saying that I'm excited is an understatement because I just almost tried on these outfits without even filming it and I was like, I can film it again after I tried them on and then I was like, that doesn't even make sense. Why don't you just film it, Lily? So here we are. Most of them... Okay, so I kind of unpackaged everything already and put it in this box just to save myself the struggle from like... Okay, I, I can't even lie to myself. I was just excited. But it's all in that box now. Okay, so basically here's what's going to happen. I'm going to try on these outfits and all of them will be linked in the description. This is not sponsored. Paid for everything. It was like 200 bucks all together. Um, and then I'm going to do a video, I think, where my dad rates my Halloween costumes. But there's going to be more than just this included in it. And then I'm also doing a Halloween costume video with a company. And I'm not going to say yet, but they're really cute. So make sure you're subscribed so you guys can see that. We're just going to start because I just want to start now. Um, this is not a proper try on haul, so just shut up if that's what you want. Um, I'll have everything linked in the description based on the outfit, but that's all you're getting because I'm not in the mood to make this all like fancy try on haul today. So just shut up, okay? But I tried to get a variety of things. So, meh. Okay, we're gonna do this one first because this one I'm sure you guys have seen at least some point over the years, a girl wearing at least some pictures. It's like this ninja one, and this is one of the only ones I got that like the entire outfit came together. Hey guys, so before I show you guys this costume, it is a ninja costume, and I posted a video on TikTok in it, and it got a lot of hate because a lot of people in the Asian community were saying that it was cultural appropriation. And I'm white, I'm not one to say whether it is or isn't, I'm not one to say how anyone is feeling is wrong but I did a lot of research on it after everybody was saying that because I wanted to educate myself on it and basically what I found was that the ninja costume was culturally appropriating because it was sexualizing a ninja so if you were to wear a costume that was a ninja that was historically accurate as what a ninja would actually look like then it wouldn't be offensive but because of this specific costume is more of like a sexual ninja than it is culturally appropriating. Um, I know a lot of people buy this costume and don't wear the dragon piece and use it as like a Mortal Kombat costume. So I don't know if that's okay or not. I, I don't know the logistics of it, but I'm trying to educate myself. So I just want to let you guys know that I don't think I'm actually going to be wearing this costume anymore because I don't want to be offensive to anyone. Um, but in these clips, I am talking about this costume highly. I really liked it whenever I tried it on, but just know that that's not my thoughts anymore. Um, but I just wanted to say this before I show you guys it. The other ones I had to like buy pieces for and kind of like make myself so this one we're gonna try on because for Halloween I plan on wearing like like at least three outfits like Thursday night Friday night Saturday night minimum this is a heavy contender for outfit number one and it has a mask that's right it has a mask built in to the outfit which is smart with corona times this is what this one's looking like what size did I get I got a size small so for reference I'm 5'5 five five and weigh around 125 pounds. This is what a size small would look like you if you were 5'5 five five and 125 pounds. Do I just go put this on? Right? There's also the other parts, like they have this dragon piece and this mask. I'm just gonna put this on and then come back because there's literally no way for me to do it without being like naked, so. This is what this one looks like. There's all of these like strings, so we have to tie those. Um, I just like wanted to show you guys that once it's on, there's like all of these strings around, so you kind of have to like tie them around your legs and your arms and stuff. But so far, this fits me really freaking good. Like, okay, mom, you might want to look away. Actually, you're used to seeing me half naked on here from my bathing suit videos, never mind. This is just very cheeky. Just let me tell you, my butt is out of this thing. It is not in, it is out. If that's something you like, which a lot of girls on Halloween do, um, I'm gonna tie these real quick and then put on, I gotta like put on this little part and like the mask and then I'll come back. It's like a little Velcro piece. To be honest, it doesn't go that tight, but like whatever. I made it the tightest it'll go. It's just like, I would kind of want it like cinched down my waist to make me look skinnier, but like it doesn't really do that. So we're just gonna leave it like that. And the best part about this costume, it comes with a face mask. Do I look like a ninja? Yeah, so if you don't, if this face mask doesn't fit you because it kind of is a little bit tight, you probably have one. It has a hood too. Wait a second. 
I'll show you guys. If I had like better makeup on and like my hair was like curled and like looked all nice and fluffy, I think I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10 just because this thing bothers me how loose it is. But I think I'm gonna like find a way to like tighten it. I need to take this off. I literally am obsessed with Halloween and I love costumes. So the next one is Harley Quinn. I didn't realize how much I was gonna like this one, but like it makes my butt look so good and like it just, mwah. Um, I've literally been sitting around taking pictures in this for like 45 minutes and people are, are probably questioning why I'm just like chilling in a ninja costume. It's time to move on. I need to stop with this. Outfit number two, we're gonna do Lee Quinn because that's the next one I'm really excited for that I was like wanting to try on. This one, um, was kind of customizable. So if you don't like one of the pieces in it, you can order like some of them, but then for example, I may have ordered the cheekiest shorts there are for this. So if you don't like your butt out like this, then you can order different shorts, but then get the same other stuff that I got, you know, whatever. I'm just gonna put this on and then come back. Okay, this is the Halloween, what? Okay, what am I, I can't speak. This is the Harley Quinn one without any like adjustments from me. So if I were to wear this for Halloween, I would make a lot of adjustments. Okay, I'm just gonna give you guys a rundown. Here's the top, it says daddy's little monster. It has like whatever classic Harley Quinn top. It has like holes in it. If it were me, I would probably make some more holes in this, make it like look dirty, maybe like Kool-Aid this to make it not as harsh of a line, like just make it look like worn. And then I put on these black fishnets and I just like pulled them up. Um, and then these are the shorts that I got. They're basically underwear. So I just keep that in mind, but they're like sequined and they're really cute. They're just like, if you don't like that, then you're gonna have to get other shorts and they have other shorts on Amazon, but I like it like this. So moving on, um, I got some socks. Some like, you know, white socks with some red stripes to like match. And okay, just imagine I have the Harley Quinn belt on because I kind of need that to pull this look together. I just, I don't know why I didn't order it. It was literally in my basket and I think I accidentally put and saved for later, but I'm gonna have to order that so I can wear this. And then I would wear like black chunky boots with this. Oh my God, wait, where is it? I have the bat. Just a second. I'll need to do this. Okay, basically this is just an inflatable bat that I would use for like pictures. Like imagine. That would be so cute. I kind of want my hair in pigtails. I need, I need another hair tie. Harley Quinn's hair is not like a good, like even ponytail, so I'm kind of just throwing this up there. Oh my God, that just made me look so much more like Harley Quinn. I would just have to like, obviously color the ends of them and stuff, but I kind of love it. <laughs> it's so cute. From just the Amazon products alone, no adjustments, I would give this one an eight out of 10, just because I would change some stuff, but it's perfectly doable. Like all I gotta do is like mess up my shirt a little bit, get some fake tattoos, some boots, reorder the belt because I'm stupid, and then like color my hair and stuff. I just need someone to be the Joker with me. Can someone be the Joker with me, please? Moving on, so next outfit that we're gonna do, this is, these next ones are like items. They're not really outfits, but you can turn them into one. So, I got stuff to be an angel, but I didn't order like a dress or anything. I literally just got the angel wings, and then I got like these sparkly fishnets. Well, I gotta go, let me go like scroll through my closet to find like clothes. We may have a little bit of an issue. Ordered a dress to go with this angel costume, but it's not here. And by the time it gets here, it's gonna be too late for me to like make a video about it. I'm just gonna show you guys the stuff that I can't really try it on right now because for some reason I don't own a singular white dress. I have white pants, but then you wouldn't be able to see these. So these are just like fishnets that have like jewels on them. And then these wings, Trying to try them on so you guys can see how big they are. So they just have these little like loops in them. This is gonna look so dumb with my Harley Quinn outfit, but just ignore it. Oh, they're kinda cute. I kinda like it. I don't like that they're too big, so like if you're walking around. Okay, just ignore this Harley Quinn stuff, okay? Just imagine I have like a skin tight, like cute white dress and like sparkly legs, you know? And then like poofy hair. Like curly, not poofy hair, like curly, voluminous hair. Moving on, I'm taking these off now. Um, if you wanna be an angel, honestly, these wings aren't bad, so. This costume is one that my dad picked out. Me and my dad are like in love with Japanese culture, and I've been watching a lot of anime shows, so he was like, why don't you get 
like an anime style Halloween costume for your viewers. And I don't know if a lot of you guys watch anime or whatever, but I got like this like schoolgirl Japanese costume. So if you're into that, then you guys can see what this looks like. Okay. The sizing was weird because it was not in English. The one thing I noticed about sizing is that like I had to get a, like I'm pretty sure 2XL. Let's try this bad boy on. This is the um shirt. The skirt. Um, and then it came with its own socks and like a bow. So I'm gonna put it on. BRB. Okay, so this is the outfit. Um, it came with a tie. To be honest, I have no idea how to tie a tie. But this is this is the tie. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where it goes. And okay, I didn't know if this thing went here or if it went around my waist, but I'm pretty sure it goes here. Imagine the tie is on me. This is what it looks like. Definitely more conservative than the other outfits. It came with like these black socks, which I find weird because this is like navy. So I would probably get just an XL if you're like similar sizing to me. Um, I'm 5'5", around 120 pounds, and the website that I ordered it on, on Amazon, like the Amazon link, girls my size, you would need a 2XL, but it's baggy on me, like if I took the tie off in the back, you could see like how baggy the skirt really is. The shirt fits, it is like, it's just not tight fitting, so you can see it's like, kind of scrout, scrunched up, you know? So that just really depends on like how you like it and if you want it tight or not. But I personally would recommend getting just an XL, not a 2XL. I think it's cute though. Like, I kind of, it's like cute schoolgirl, you know? If I knew how to freaking put on a tie, I would do it, but I don't. So I can turn around with the skirt like, you know? See how I had to tie it because it was big and the shirt's like baggy on me? I don't know, the sizing's weird, but cute outfit. Anyways, moving on. So the next one is also going to be kind of hard for me to show you, but I grabbed this dress out of my closet. It's just like a plain black little mini dress. So I'm going to put this on and then show you guys the rest of the costume. Okay, so I'm in my black little mini dress. Um, it's kind of too small for me. I'm just not going to turn around. So this next costume, just imagine I have like makeup on and my hair is like down and curled. And then this is what I have. So I got some fake blood and some vampire teeth, which I'm not gonna put in right now because I kind of wanna wear this as an outfit. Like it'd be like Catherine Pierce vibes, you know, except for I don't have dark hair. Kinda wish I did for this outfit, but whatever. Um, but I can show you guys what the teeth look like at least. Ooh, I didn't even realize that it was like this. I was expecting like one pair of teeth. I don't know why. Yeah, I can't do this right now because there's like steps. I think you have to like, like form it to your teeth. So it comes with this thing, has like pliers in it and like some teeth in there, you see? I don't know what this is, they're little beads. So I can't even put these on because it has to like, it will like secure, but it basically just gives you things. So this is, imagine this, things, fake blood. I It comes with these capsules, which I don't know if those are capsules you can like put in your mouth because that'd be really freaking cool. It doesn't even say, um, but this is like a spray. So I would probably just put like blood down me and like, down my mouth, you know? Be Catherine Pierce. I think it's really cute. I, like I said, I have four more costumes coming on the way. I don't wanna tell you guys what they are because it'll ruin the surprise. That's going to be soon. I'm just waiting on them to get here and then I'll film it. Hopefully this gave you guys some idea of like something for Halloween because it is happening soon. You better get your outfits. If you guys do order any of these outfits and you're gonna wear them, comment down below so I know. And if you post pictures on Instagram and then tag me so I can hype you up and comment on them. This entire month is spooktober. Um, I have so many ideas. Not just try on hauls. I'm gonna do some other fun things um, for the spooky season, you know? Spooktober is already happening because I've already been ghosted. That was a cheesy joke, but it's true. I have been ghosted by a couple boys this month already, but whatever. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram so you guys can see my like Halloween pictures I post <laughs> because it's gonna happen. It just is. Yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed. Um, I'll see you guys in my next Spooktober video. <laughs> that was gross, whatever. Bye.